Come by me, oh Lord, come by me. Come by me, oh Lord, come by me. Come by me, oh Lord, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Come by me, my Lord, come by me. Come by me, oh Lord, come by me. Come by me, my Lord, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Kenya is called in your name, come by me. Kenya is called in your name, come by me. Kenya is called in your name, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Come by me today, come by me. Come by me today, come by me. Come by me today, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Pastors are calling your name, come by me. Pastors are calling your name, come by me. Pastors are calling your name, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Warriors are calling your name, come by me. Warriors are calling your name, come by me. Warriors are calling your name, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Come by me, my Savior, come by me. Come by me, oh Lord, come by me. Come by me, oh Lord, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Kenya is calling your name, come by me. Kenya is calling your name, come by me. Kenya is calling your name, come by me. Oh Lord, come by me. Hallelujah. Savior, I want to thank you this morning. I want to appreciate you and I want to glorify you. Thank you because every time you send forth your word, it will never come back to you in void. It will fulfill the purpose to which you have called it even and assigned it in this nation. Today I want to pray for the nation of Kenya together with the warriors online. And I'm asking you, Father, that we have prayed for long. We have been praying for the nation and we have seen your hand. And we are also continuing to ask you that you will bring forth peace. And I pray this day for the nation of Kenya and for the president of this nation, that Father, you will hold his hand, that he will not have a handshake with the opposition, and your name will be glorified. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank you, you that you are following me, and I want to bless the name of the Lord because you have been together with me since 2020 March, and I want to appreciate you for standing with me. This is my number. Please call me 0746 553 997 and please support me. Bring your 1,000, bring your 500 into this account so that I will continue praying with you for the nation of Kenya. Please support me, stand with me, support my ministry, help me to grow 
that I may reach to many people, and this is the pay bill number uh, 400222. My account number, it is 173 hash, and you can send me your partnership, you can send me your tithe, your offering, and please send me the transactions, and God is going to bless you. Now, we have been praying for the nation of Kenya since the Lord instructed me to do it publicly online in 2020 and in the month of March 20th. That is when I started praying for the nation of Kenya online. And we are still continuing to pray for the nation of Kenya. And what God has been speaking to me since then, or even before then, before I came on on air is what is happening in this nation. Now, today allow me not to do the foundations, but allow me to bring the mind of God and to pray according to the mind of God. Amen. Now, I've been thinking about it. I've been contemplating on what the Lord spoke to me many years back, and now he has repeated it again. And I want us to pray for our president. And I want us to tell the Lord, just give him good advisors because he's surrounded by people who are advising him are the same people that are taking what they are talking and they are taking it outside. That is called betrayal. Number two, that God will help him not to agree, not to agree handshake. In the spirit realm, I saw handshake. I saw him and Raila holding and having handshake. 2020, I told you that Uhuru Kenyatta should not have a handshake. I don't know whether we prayed well. I've just started the media, but it happened and we saw the repercussion. This time, the repercussion will be worse than that time. I'm not for anybody, but I'm just doing the mind of God. And I want us today to pray for him and this nation. And we are going to go to 1 Samuel chapter 10. The Bible says that when Samuel anointed Saul to be the king of Israel, he spoke to him and said in verse 2, When you are departed from me today, then you shall find two men by Rachel's scepter in the border of Benjamin, at which you went to seek a hair, okay, but at, at Zerah, Zelza. And they will say to you, the donkeys which you went to seek are found, and lo, your father has left the care of the donkeys and sorrows for you, saying, what shall I do for my son? Now, I want us to look in verse 4. And they will salute you. Verse 3, the Bible says, Then shall you go on forward. These were signs. Like God has been giving us signs concerning the nation of Kenya. And things have been happening. And these have been signs. And there are red signals in the spirit realm. When there will be a handshake. I don't want to say what I saw. But the handshake. There was an alarm, like ambulance alarm, or the alarms, you know, we put in our homes, we install in our homes when danger comes. Mm -hmm. Then shall you go uh, forward from there, and you shall come to the plain of Tabor, and there shall meet you three men going up to God, to Bethel, one carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread, and another carrying a bottle of wine. Verse 4, and this is the key word. And they shall salute you and give you two loaves of bread, which you shall receive of their hands. There are people that will salute you and your destiny flourishes. There are people who will bless you or deposit good things into your life or you meet with or you encounter with, and your life is bright. And there are people you meet with, they will deposit, evil deposit, that they are carrying, 
and they will release it through the handshake. Okay. Let's go to to second to first kings. This is hard for me to say, but we have to because I'm a, I'm a warrior. The Bible speaking in first uh, first king chapter 13 about this young man, young prophet. We all know about him. He went to prophesy and he met with the king of Judah. And when he met with this king, the Bible says that, and he spoke to him. He spoke to him about the altar. I don't want to read it because it is quite broad. He meant, he spoke about it and it happened. The Bible says he spoke about the altar and the altar withered. And the king pointed at him. And after pointing at him, the hand of the king withered. Now, I don't want to go much. And God had told him, do not eat. And the road that you will pass, don't go back the same road. So this man obeyed. This man did not eat any food. But when he met with the prophet, and this is in verses, this is broad, I don't know. Verses 18. <clears throat> verses 17. Let's do verses 16. And he said, I may not return with you, nor go in with you, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with you in this place. Now, this is when he was going back, and the road he was told to go back, there was an old prophet that wanted to destroy the ministry of this man, and he saluted him, and the enemy killed this man. The Bible says, verse 17, For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, You shall eat no bread, nor drink water, there nor turn again to go by the way that you came. Now this is the prophet. The old prophet is telling this man, and they had not met, that I was told, you shall not eat, you shall not follow. This is God deceit. This prophet was jealous. This prophet wanted to destroy the prophetic word, and that is why God had told this young prophet, do not eat. And then he says, this is what the Lord has said to me. I am a prophet also, as you are, verses 18. And an angel, look here. God spoke to the prophet, the young prophet. Do not eat, do not drink, do not pass the same path. And the Bible says with the old man, deceit entered. And he said, an angel. Do you obey an angel or you obey God? Of course, angels are used by God. But if God himself have told you don't, and another one comes and tell you do, then know that is deceit. Because if these angels came from God, these angels would have prophesied exactly what God had spoken to this prophet. And an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord saying, bring him back with you into your house and he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied to him. Look at that deceit. So he went back with him and did eat in his house and drank water. And it came to pass as they sat at the table that the word of the Lord came to the prophet that brought him back. Look at that. He lied. And now the word of the Lord, the same God that spoke to this young prophet, speaks to this old prophet. And he cried to the man of God that came from Judah saying, Thus says the Lord. For as much as you have disobeyed the mouth of the Lord and have not kept the commandment which the Lord your God commanded you, but came back and you have eaten bread and drunk water in this place, in the place of the which the Lord did say to you, eat no bread and drink no water, your carcass shall come to the scepter of your fathers. He terminated the foundation. He terminated the assignment of this young prophet. And that is, anyway, and it came to pass, after he had eaten bread and after he had drunk, that he sandaled for him an ass, that, it, uh, that is for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him, verses 24, by the way, and slew him, and his carcass was cast in the way, and the ass stood by it, and the lion stood by the carcass. Look at that. Go read, my friends. We are going to pray for our president. I, I, I am not allowed to speak everything. But we are going to tell the Lord, help our president not to have a handshake. 
the God that put him in is the same God that will give him victory. I'm telling you, let him fall into the hands of God in Jesus' name. We are going to tell the Lord, my father, you spoke to Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar did not know God. You spoke to the kings of Bez, uh, Be Babylon and they did not know God. You spoke to Pharaoh and they didn't let know God. They didn't know God. You are going to tell the Lord, speak to President Ruto not to have a handshake in the name of Jesus. Repo Sharabada. My father, I'm asking you, let mercy reign. Let mercy reign. Let your angel hold the hand of the president of this nation. Lebra Shanta Rabade. Zanta Labente Lebedia. Randa Labanda Labadua. Zente Rebente Rebedia. Randa Labanda Rebadua. Reko Toko Banta Bente Busalia. President Ruto, I speak to your spirit. There is no distance in the spirit realm. Do not have a handshake. Do not have the handshake that is being prepared. Maraba, Sharaba, it will scatter your government. It will scatter your life. It will scatter everything about you. It will scatter the assignment. The same God that put you in that place, the same God that put you on that seat, shall see you through. Reko Talabada, Zente Lebeshi Atai Badia, Rende Lebota Rabada, Rente Lebesi Atai Badua, Landa Labanda Labadia, Rento Bosa T. Prosia, Renta Bente Busa Rabadia, Rente Bosa Rabente Lebedia. These are just distractions to distract you from your assignment, to distract the nation of Kenya. Kenya, Malabo, Shalabada, Zenteleboshia Tai Badia, Rentelebentele Bedia. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, help me to go to the book of Judges. Judges, I don't know, but uh, I'm praying. Uh, I'm not bringing everything here. You will allow me not to. You won't allow me. I just give you what I've been instructed to give. The rest, God will give you deeper revelation. Amen. Now, chapter 9, Judges chapter 9. This is Abimelech, the son of uh, uh, Zerubbabel. He went to Shechem, to his brothers, to his mother's brethren, and he communed with them. This is a household wickedness. Household wickedness is your family having household wickedness is fighting, in-laws fighting. Wickedness, household wickedness, it is step-sister, step-brother, step-parents, you know, the blended family fighting. Of course, not all. I'm speaking about household wickedness. It can be a, weak, a wicked aunt, a wicked uncle. A wicked grandmother, grandfather, destroying. It is household wickedness, hindering you from progressing. Yes. We have household wickedness, even in, the, in an institution, in the, in the government, in, in, in a church, religion. Household wickedness, in business, you know, economy. In your place of assignment, you find in your place of an assignment, pastors fighting pastors. So we have a household wickedness in many dimension, institution, the government. Now, and this is what happened in Israel. There was household wickedness. The Bible says they wanted a king. And this man had to go back home. Go, go read, uh, this is quite, and they were choosing, they, they were electing, they were voting for a president, they were voting for a leader, for a king in Israel. And uh, the Bible says in verses 7, and when they told it to Jotham, he went and stood in the top of, the, of, uh, of Mount uh, Gezerim, Gerizim, 
Now, they already said what is happening. This Abimelech had come. He wanted to become the king. And when Jotham was told, now he stood at the mountain to speak to the Israelites and lifted up his voice and cried and said to them, Hearken to me, you men of Shechem, that God may hearken to you. Just like I'm speaking to you about the handshake, shake. So that is the same way this man was speaking. And uh, if you can visit my prayers in 2020, when we are praying for the nation of Kenya, this is the key scripture that I was dwelling on. The Bible says, the tree went forth on a time to anoint a king over them. And they say to the olive tree, reign you over us. Go read verses 9, verses 10. I want us to go to verses 14. They went to the fig tree. The fig tree refused. The vine, you know, refused. And uh, when they got to verses 14, the Bible says, Then said all the trees to the bramble, Come you and reign over us. And the bramble said to the trees, If in truth you anoint me king over you, then come and put your trust in my shadow. And if not, let fire come out of the brabo and devour the cedars of Lebanon. Listen, we are going to tell the Lord, any tree that is a brabo tree surrounding the president of this nation, distracting him from what he is doing to bring the economy of this nation together, to clear the debts that were left. Right now, we are saying economy is high, economy, you know, but this man is really trying. So together, I'm speaking to you what I saw in my spirit, gathering so that there will be. And this is something God had spoken to us in 2020 and 2022, that the economy will go up. And some of you fought, but now it has come to happen. We are going to tell the Lord, let the bramble tree that is surrounding the president of this nation, any brabo tree that is advising the president in the wrong direction, any brabo tree that is surrounding the president and it's collecting information or data from the inside house and taking it outside, we are telling the Lord, let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. We are warriors. I am not for President Ruto. I am not for Raila. For me, I am doing the mind of God. And I've always told you, if Raila was the president, I would stand on his side because that is what God wants. If, and now because God wanted Ruto to be the president, then I have no choice. I will stand on his side. And we are going to tell the Lord, my father, let every brabo tree that is surrounding the president, that is removing secrets and data, what they are discussing, and taking it outside, and they are using it against the president, we are going to tell the Lord, expose them and uproot them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sharaba sotarabade, rantala bente rebo sharebade, mandala banta reba labadua, reto bon to bo sadia, every household wickedness in the cabinet and the government of our president that is bringing destruction, that is removing the data from inside, taking it outside, let it be uprooted, let it be exposed and uprooted. Rebo shanda labada, zente le bente le pusha labadia, randa labanda labanda labade, rende le bente le busha labadia, mara bota labade, zara banda labadia, reto banta labade, zanta la bente le bedia. Randa la banda la badia, rete re bo sariada, rande re bo tarabadia, zente re bente re bedia, randa la banda la badia, rende re bende re bedia, rai banda la bado, rende bo sariado, rekota la bashiado, lande re bende re bedia, randa la banda de bado, expose the brabo 
bow tree. Expose the brown bow tree. Expose and approve. Expose and approve. Expose and approve. Expose and approve. Shereberia in Jesus' name. The final prayer we are going to pray. Now, these are hard prayers we are praying, but we are going to go to Isaiah chapter 37. Isaiah 37. Hallelujah. Isaiah 37. We are going to go to 37 and verses 30, 31. Isaiah chapter 37, verses 30. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall eat this ear such as grows of itself and the second ear that which springs of the same. And in the third ear sow you and reap and plant vineyards and eat the fruit thereof. Verses that one. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downwards and bring fruit upwards. For out of Jerusalem shall go for the remnant and they that escape out of Mount Zion the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. We are going to pray that this, that the government shall bear fruits upwards. They be rooted downwards and they bear fruit upwards. Being rooted, it is standing firm. Bearing fruits, it is the work that is happening. You know, gathering the economy the peace, the prayers we are praying. Let there be manifestation and let there be peace. I know I'm not, I'm not explaining it deeper, but I want us to pray. Today is not easy for me to pray this prayer, but we have to pray. Amen. That the government of Kenya shall be rooted downwards and they must bear fruits upwards. Fruits that we are going to enjoy. It is not fruit that is going to make Kenyans cry, but fruit that is going to bring the economy up, that is going to bring the economy to be favorable, that is going to bring peace, that is going to bring abundance in Jesus' name. Marabo Sharabadia, Rentolo Po Shalabada. I stand with Zaire. I stand with Isaiah chapter 37 and verses that one and verses 30. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall eat this ear such as grows of itself. My father, let Kenya start eating what we have grown ourselves. Rembra Shanta Rebada, Zente Leposhia Tai Badia, Lebra Zanta Lebada Brosia. Whatever shall spring the same, let us eat what will spring. Let us eat what will come forth. Let us enjoy peace in this nation. Let us enjoy good economy. Let the nation of Kenya, let the government of Kenya be rooted downward. Let it be rooted. Let its fruit come forth, fruit come forth upward. Sharabada, Zerebedia, Zandarabada. Zerebedia, Randa Labadia, Zanterebedi, whatever is fighting the nation of Kenya, let it be uprooted. Marabadua, as the nation of Kenya and the government of Kenya is gaining roots downward and fruits upwards, being buffed. Shereba, Zandalaba, Renteleboshia, Renteleboshia, Rantalabatia, Rentelepotia, Rantalabadi. In Jesus name. This is my number. Please call me 746 And please support me. Bring your 1,000, bring your 500 into this account so that I will continue praying with you for the nation of Kenya. This is my account number. Please support me. Stand with me. Support my ministry. Help me to grow that I may reach to many people. And this is the pay bill number uh, 400222. My account number, it is 173-9983 hash. And you can send me your partnership. You can send me your tithe, your offering. And please send me the transactions and God is going to bless you. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, Signs and wonders and miracles 
are your portion today. Amen.